we've arrived at Neshonic Lakeside Campground in Wisconsin. Let's go check it out. Neshonic Lakeside Campground is part of the Trails Collection under the Thousand Trails umbrella. It's located not far from La Crosse, Wisconsin. As you pull into the campground, you're going to see this welcome sign. And just beyond the welcome sign, you'll see another sign that points you to the office, which is right across the street. You'll pull your RV over right in here and then walk into the office, which is right there. And there's a little bit better view of the office. After you enter the campground proper, you can go up the hill to where most of the uh, RV campsites are, or you could bear right where you'll find park models and mainly seasonal residents. I'm going to take you along the lake here first and show you a sit nice sitting area they have at the lake. Down here on the flat is the first uh, of several playgrounds they have, and that building uh, in the distance there is a uh, shower house and restroom facility. Here are some of the park models I was telling you about. And then in the center of your screen is a really nice seating area where you can sit and watch the lake and it's really nice at sunset. And here's a little bit better vantage point of that covered seating area I wanted to show you. Neshonic Lake is a fairly large lake. That's the incline you go up to get up to the main camping area. But what I want to show you, uh, there's two things. Uh, in the foreground, you're going to see horseshoe pits. And on top of the hill, there are some awesome campsites up there with uh, lake views. We're going up there now. As soon as you get to the top of the hill, you'll see a number of cabins clustered together off to your right. And then uh, you'll start to see the pull-through campsites that are in the, uh, the center of the campground. There's one right in the center of your screen. And then they also have back-end campsites. You could see them against the wood line there. So that's the direction I just walked from. And right here is a good example of a one of the pull-through campsites. So you have a in-ground all the fire rings appear to be in ground. Then off to your left here, they'll have your uh, utility hookups. This is site 157. You have your water here. And 30, 50 amp electric service. Most of the sites are pretty large. You can get pretty br big rigs in here, and they all seem to be 30, 50 amp electric service. There's site 154 in the center of your screen, and you can see how much room they have left over, even with that big class A in the site, and a toad. Here's the front row, what I call bluff row. This is a typical campsite, full hookup. That's your view of the lake from your campsite. I'm going to take you down and show you another bluff lakeside campsite. But uh, what I want to point out to you is that they have multiple tiered levels. You see how the RVs go up in tiers? And they all have a nice view of the lake. Here's another sweet campsite off to my left. Looks like that's going to be site 179. Melody and I stayed here three nights. There was no upcharge with our Thousand Trails membership with the Trails Collection Plus optional add-on. This is that same campsite, and if you, as you, you can note, the uh, fire ring is buried down in the ground there. But you just can't beat that view. That is a great campsite. Site 179, doesn't get much better than that. And on the terrace, you can see these campers have a pretty good view of the lake. 
and clear on top they have uh, those are cabins you can rent and I walked up there this morning and they have an awesome view of the lake from those cabins and all of these campsites are additional campsites perched on the bluff with a lake view and right across from these campsites you're gonna find a second playground with a pool just beyond it and that's a closer look at the playground that's on top of the hill here right next to the playground is another shower house and restroom facility they have a kiddie pool a main pool and on the other side of this building they have a hot tub looks like a newly refurbished hot tub and I'm getting in right now Here's the front of the pool area. And I think Melody and Milo are walking down from, they are, they're walking down the road from our campsite. Hi, buddy. How's my buddy? Well, Milo and Melody are gonna go for a walk. Uh, that is a dump station right there where that RV's parked on the right-hand side there. And uh, in this big open field they have right across from the pool, uh, they have a volleyball net and it looks like a basketball court in addition to the green space and then melody and our camp down in here so uh, let me take you down to our campsite all of these sites are pull through sites they angle off and uh, so you got quite a bit of room with your site i'm in this middle row over here so this is our campsite in Neshonic Lakeside Campground in Wisconsin. Not bad. We made a day trip down to La Crosse, Wisconsin. This is the Mississippi River. We're at a riverfront park in La Crosse and it sure is pretty down here. Down here at the waterfront park, it's the Mississippi you're looking at. There's a cheese store and a ice cream parlor just a few blocks from here. We're going to be making our way up the waterfront toward those uh, stores. Milo wants some ice cream. There goes Melody and Milo. We're in downtown La Crosse, Wisconsin, and this is uh, Pearl Street. You're looking at the Pearl ice cream parlor. We're going to go in there and get Milo some ice cream. Pretty sunset here at the campground. I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road. Thank you.